Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. Welcome to the Premier League fixture between Manchester City and Newcastle United here at the... Uh, what is the name of their stadium? It's their sponsor, isn't it? The Etihad. That's right. My memory is bloody awful, I tell you. Uh, so, do we have any changes we need to make today? Well, uh, Shelby not looking at his best, so we could perhaps bring Almiron in to the starting lineup. Swap him over with Nkunku so he can get the most out of his favoured left foot. Uh, Ribéry has played really well for us, so he's going to retain his place in the starting lineup. And uh, Xavi may well end up coming on at some point down the line as well. Henriks is fit again, so he can come on to the bench. Shelby can make way for him there. And... I would give Balotore a game, but Willems is in the form of his life, so can't really do that for him right now. Uh, however, I am really tempted actually to bring in Henrik straight back into the starting lineup, just to give us a little bit more, um, what's the word, fluidity uh, among the back four. Uh, he he knows Tadebo a lot better than Juan Fran does, so. We're going to go with this starting lineup today. Looks like a fairly decent 11. Uh, but then when you look across the way on the left-hand side, you can see Manchester City have an even more impressive starting 11. So this game could be in the lap of the gods. But either way, we're going to give it our best. We're going to try for the three points. It is, after all, the Newcastle way. We'll just have to see what happens when the uh, dust settles, when 90 minutes are up. Who walks away with all three points? Or are they indeed shared? We just don't know at this stage. But that's the joy of football, is finding out along the way. So here we are at the Etihad, which looks suspiciously close to the stadium that we took the semi took to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. So it could be that we played at the Etihad in that semi-final yesterday. Players have finished their warm-up. They've shook hands. And now we can begin. So City will be attacking our goal to the right-hand side in this first half. Ball out of play for an early throw into Newcastle. Lovely, lovely switch of play out to the opposite flank. Oh, and it's an early shot and nearly an early goal for Newcastle. Maximan could have taken the chance on himself, but instead laid it back unselfishly to Werner. And he could just about see enough of the goal to try the shot. But he would have had to put a little bit of spin on the ball in order to get it to where it needed to go. That's good play by Hayden. Plays it down the line to Ribéry. Inside to Almiron. Across to Henriks. Maximan. Newcastle doing a good job of retaining possession of the football here. Until then... And the referee gives the softest of fouls. Not only that, somehow it's a yellow card. Goodness gracious me. He's already lost control of this game. How's that a yellow card? For the love of all that's good and holy. Well, never mind. We have to defend this free kick all the same. Lobbed in to the edge of the area. Headed clear. Works its way all the way back to the defence. And now they can rebuild the move from midfield. Cancelo loses the ball to Almiron. Ribéry on the run. Plays it inside to Werner who takes the shot. And City get the ball away and can start thinking about a counter-attack except that they're not playing it with any great pace at the moment oh 
Oh, that's very nice from Newcastle. Ribery. Oh, he just couldn't shake the attention of the defender. It's a real shame, that. City now with the ball on the right-hand side. And it's a speculative shot, but we have seen them trouble the goalkeeper from that kind of distance. Play restarted out on the left-hand side with Jetro Willems. Lays it into Ribéry. Uh. Somehow, Maximan wins the ball and has the opportunity at a shot. Can't quite make it count, though. Ribéry. Ah, the cross just not good enough. Kunku not taking enough care of the ball. And now Manchester City with the opportunity to attack at the other end. And they have an overload if they use it. And the goal... Oh, my word. What a finish that is. From Gabriel Jesus. And Newcastle, having not been under any great pressure, now find themselves 1-0 down. Ayer just losing his man. Couldn't get goal side of him. Well, there you go. Blink and you miss it. Newcastle down 1-0 thanks to a rapid attack by Manchester City. And now City are in the mood to score goals, it seems. Sergio Aguero, even though he could have squared it, deciding to have a go himself and very nearly getting the reward. Maximan. His pace is a real weapon for this Newcastle side. But he's body checked quite cynically there. Quite rightly a booking. Not sure that Newcastle have got the time to make anything of this though. They're going to have to try and lob it into the box. And it's a little bit too long unfortunately. Oh, that's a high foot. He's got away with it. And at half-time, it's 1-0 to Manchester City. It's not gone the way that Newcastle would have preferred. But there are still 45 minutes to try and get back into this one. At half-time here at the Etihad, it is Manchester City 1, Newcastle United 0.
Oof, so nearly. So, so nearly. Good take from the goalkeeper. That's a lovely pass. Ah, oh, it's a shame. See what he was trying. He wanted to try and curl it into the top corner. But it wasn't going to happen for him. Oh, this is a chance. And it's a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Timo Werner definitely got that one on target, but the keeper, very much aware of what he was going to try, got down very early, managed to dig it out. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Manchester City getting very, very lucky with some of the uh, challenges here. The ball coming loose and just dropping just right for them to carry on with their attack. We're going to try something a little bit different here. Joel Linton going to come on, give us a big man up front to hold the ball up, be the focus of the attacks. The wide players can come in either side of him. Joel Linton, he's got a chance straight away and he's put it away. That extra strength allowing him to turn his man, get on the ball and slot it past the goalkeeper. A picture of composure. An inspired substitution by the manager. Immediately coming up with results. The question now is, can they go for the winner? I thought that I had put Vinicius Jr. on the bench, but apparently I did not. That's annoying. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, he's still injured. It was Henriks that uh, we brought back on, wasn't it? Oh well, bugger me. Um, 
What can we do? What can we do? Well, Almiron can play up there and Javi can come into midfield. We'll see if that does anything for us. Of course, those changes won't take effect until the next break in play. Which is now. Don't know if we get a, uh, a throw-in for that or not. In fact, it looks like the goalkeeper... Goalkeeper. It looks like the referee may have given a foul, which um, I think is generous to, to say the least. Referee, come on, for goodness sake. If you're going to give it for one, you've got to give it for the other. Oh my goodness. Some of these Manchester City tackles are absolutely atrocious. I get booked for them. I get free kicks given against me for them. When they do them, well, apparently... I mean, look, why... why <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I'll just give up. Oh, Newcastle got the overlap here. And I think Joel Linton's onside. And this could be the finishing blow. Oh, my word. What a save by the goalkeeper. Joel Linton will be absolutely apoplectic with himself. And quite rightly, too. A guilt-edged opportunity for Newcastle. Perhaps he should have taken it on his left. We'll never know for sure. Good news for Newcastle is Kevin De Bruyne has pulled up with something looking like a hamstring injury. Ball out now on the left side. Whipped in. City get away with it. And now they can hit on the break. Well won by Willems. Can't get the ball into a pair of Newcastle feet. And they're struggling really to get the ball into... Here we go. Newcastle now. Is Max Man onside? He might be onside, you know. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, my goodness me. How many chances are they going to need? How many more chances will they get? We're already past the amount of stoppage time attributed should have gone for the near post I think too late now for regrets it's going to be one all unless Newcastle can somehow get really lucky no that is it that's the final whistle it is New Newcastle United 1 Manchester City 1 I've said that the wrong way around oh dear, pardon me I've said that the wrong way round, but it's still as true as if it was said correctly. Point shared here at the Etihad. A pretty good game, all things told. Very, very even. About as even as you'll find. Gabriel Jesus, the scorer of the opening goal, given the nod for man of the match. Henrik's absolutely appalling, along with Tadebo for Newcastle, apparently. Not sure I saw the, the same thing that the uh, the ratings panel saw. Uh, let's have a look at the other scores, and more, most specifically, how did Liverpool get on? They won 1-0, which means they extend their lead at the top of the table. It's now a four-point gap between first and third. In fact, second, third and fourth only separated by goal difference. This is a very, very tight race for these top four places. OK, and that's going to do it for another episode. When you come back next time, obviously it is going to be the Champions League match against CSKA Moscow. But until then, thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.